scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this dishwasher. Found it the other day on the way home. And the great thing about dishwashers is that you can find them quite often on garbage day. And I could bring this in whole to a scrapyard and get appliance weight price. Currently in southwestern Ontario, it's about five cents a pound Canadian. This dishwasher here weighs about 50 pounds, so it's better than nothing. However, dishwashers are very easy to take apart. They do come in different styles, and there are a lot better prices taking the time to separate these items. Some of your dishwashers will have an inner shell as well as outer shell that is non-magnetic stainless steel, and that currently right now is going for about 77 cents a pound Canadian. Some of them are magnetic stainless steel inside and outer shell that will give you about 17 cents a pound Canadian. And this one, even though it does have a plastic backing and a lot of plastic on the door, I'm still going to get more money from the outer shell as well as the under components that are on there. So what I want to do today is show you how to take this apart, how to identify the materials, and more importantly, how to maximize your profit. Even though this one is a plastic one, I do have a full breakdown of the uh, non-magnetic stainless steel ones as well, uh, and I will include those videos in my description. I do also have a video whereby I've done a three minute challenge. Some people unfortunately have had to pass up larger items like this given the size of their vehicle. Um, if you have a small vehicle, again, three minute challenge, there are still some goodies that you do wanna quickly take off of here to at least drive away with something. Uh, and I will also include the link to that video in my description. First thing that I will say again, this door, put a magnet to it, as well as the bottom shelf. This is magnetic, this is tin. And currently right now, tin is going for about eight cents a pound Canadian. Uh, inside, if I only had a small vehicle, first thing I would grab are my two racks. They do come off. The nice thing about these racks is, as you can see, the magnet sticks. There is on these racks, even though there is a thick coating of plastic, the scrapyards will still take this as tin. So these are actually quite heavy, just the two of these. These would be easy to stack in your car if you had a car, um, but the shelves for sure. Uh, and what I'm gonna do right now quickly, a lot of the components are on the bottom. I do have this here just for weight, because once I took that shelf out, it is gonna tip. Uh, but just gonna turn it for you. So on the bottom here, there are different styles. Sometimes you will see some of them that have a motor like this that I'm gonna show you quickly um, that is kind of projecting out. That is another thing that I quickly grabbed. This one didn't have that, but you can notice inside this, there is a motor here. Look at that copper right there. There are two spools of copper. That copper would be number uh, two copper, currently right now going for about $4.17 a pound Canadian. Um, and something that I would easily quickly grab. This one does not have that, but there is right here a beautiful nozzle or knob that I have to quickly just take off. Okay, and it just screws off. There we go. First thing I would take for sure, look at that beautiful hunk of yellow brass. This right now is going for about $3.05 a pound Canadian, so great score there. I do also have a motor here, and this one actually has a piece of Romex wire um, that I can also get, but just gonna work at some of the screws. Right now, looking at the type of screws that I have in there, uh, where is my, there it is my different um, pieces here. Actually, just gonna start taking off different pieces to this. A lot of screws, but well worth it. I also actually want to get to the inner heating element. There is an element inside that I do also want to address. Uh, and the way to access that is on the bottom here. These are just a couple screw off knobs. There's two of them here, okay? And I'm just gonna take them from there. You can see the knobs there. Just unscrew them. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna release inside the heating 
coil. And the reason I want to do that is, there we go, just pulling it out. It should drop out now. Okay, and I'm just going to show it to you. This is the one that it has because I'm upside down right now in my machine. There we go. Okay, but both of these, great heating element here. And the nice thing about these, you can see there is yellow brass connected to these that you can see. And I will actually just take a grinder and grind that brass off. So again, some more yellow brass. And the nice thing about these coils here, if I put a magnet to them, I'm gonna find my magnet again. There it is. So these are non-magnetic. And I actually have, there's a separate category to scrapyard for these. I get stainless steel price for this, which is about 77 cents a pound. Um, these, as well as your uh, coils that come off of the stove tops, they are all the same. So again, non-magnetic, but I do wanna make sure I get that brass off. And I do also have to pull off, there are sometimes uh, magnetic pins that hold it in. Uh, this one, because it's in a dishwasher, it's not gonna have that. But on your stove coils, there is some um, magnetic attraction. So they're easy to pull off, just pop them off with a uh, side cutter. But again, some nice stainless steel here. Okay, my screws, I always just put them right on my magnet. Easy to maneuver, easy to get through. Um, but I wanna actually first see if I can get to that panel, because I wanna get that motor. So just gonna pull off a little bit of tin, because I wanna work on that motor here that you can see, hopefully, to turn this. Okay, I got a side panel. And sometimes it's just finagling through, figuring out where the screws are. Okay, but there you go, there's a piece of tin. Again, a little bit of tin. It's got the rest on it, so make sure that's out of the way. Got some more screws here. Okay, so again, tin, eight cents a pound. Nice thing about tin is it does not take a lot of tin to build up weight. I just actually brought in a load two days ago, uh, just some odd ends trying to clean up the garage, 430 pounds. Uh, again, I did not have a lot of items in there. Uh, this right here probably weighs a good four or five pounds, so that's awesome there. But just gonna get to this motor here. A lot of wire that you see as well. Gotta change my bit. So that's the nice thing about when you are scrapping, I always have a type of um, uh, bit set here just to quickly help me change out things uh, effectively, quickly. There, there it is, right there. So I'm just gonna work around this wire here. Okay, so like I said, lots of screws, but I wanna get this motor here. And some people say, why don't I use a drill? For me, it's a little bit more therapeutic. Uh, and it's kind of nice to be able to take the time to look at things. And there's another one down there, if I can get to it, there it is. Last screw, I think. It is warm in here, so I apologize for the dripping, <laughs> we're going through another heat wave, it looks like, so. All right, gonna pull this motor off. Gonna get some of this coil as well. I wanna make sure I get all of this wire. This wire right here, there's tons of it, different pieces that I have for sure. This wire is gonna be classified as my 60% uh, appliance wire. So currently right now, and it will go all the way through the door, and I will get that in a second, but I'm just gonna cut this away just so it's easier to work with. So again, this right here, 60% appliance wire. This is going for $2.56 a pound Canadian. So there are different styles of wire. You have 40% and 60% because this is only one coating of plastic. $2.56 a pound. This uh, prong 
I can actually throw this into um, prong plastic prongs like this. There is a category for these, 19 cents a pound. Um, some people will cut off the plastic. And I am currently right now doing an experiment to see if it is worth it or not. Um, if it, uh, you know, they, they are easy to do. Just taking a pair of side cutters, just removing that plastic and getting out that brass. So stay tuned to that. Okay, but there is again, some really nice brass in here. Okay, the motor here, see if I can pop it off. There is a clamp holding this in. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna see, there it is. Now, moment of truth, this motor, you can see inside of it. I'm gonna look, before I start looking at if I need to remove this, I'm gonna take a grinder, uh, not a grinder, sorry. I'm gonna take, where is my, there it is underneath my file. I'm gonna take a file and I'm actually gonna tr just um, scratch these pieces of winding here. If it remove, if it reveals underneath a metallic look, then I'm actually just gonna leave it in there because that's gonna be aluminum. Uh, and if it's aluminum, I would just throw this right into my motors. Uh, if I scratch it and it reveals underneath the copper look, then I am going to take the time and remove that copper because that is gonna give me number two copper price. So there we go. Hopefully you can see that on the side. Look at that, that is copper. So this is gonna be worth taking apart and I will not take this apart in this video. I do have videos showing you how to remove the windings from copper motors. So this right here in itself an excellent score. There's going to be probably almost a pound of copper in there from those copper windings because this is a great motor. So again, you do want to check if it is underneath the coating a metallic look. Then again, aluminum windings. I have had some of my viewers say that they do get good money for aluminum windings. Um, but unfortunately here in Southwestern Ontario, I don't. I get about three, four or five cents a pound for aluminum and it isn't very heavy. So again, this is copper, I'm gonna take that apart, okay? Again, there are other items, there are a couple little things. I am gonna get the rest of that brass off of there from that nozzle that I had earlier. Okay, there is little small items as well as the spring that you see. There it is, okay, it's just attached on there. Pull it off. Sometimes you will get some water coming off of this but that's okay as well. These springs as well, I'm gonna take, okay, but bringing this up to the camera, there is a copper motor here. There is copper in there. These are easy to take apart as well. I just take a saw and I will grind off the top of the plastic and I will have a video on that showing you how to do that. But again, a little bit more yellow brass. Okay, there are a couple little components here that I need to get off. Okay, um, there it is. And again, unfortunately, I am sweating pretty good. There is interesting right here as well, a couple screws, as well as a small little motor switch. Look at that, that you have there. That is, again, some more copper winding. And to address another question I had from someone, even though that looks like bare bright, why is it not bare bright? In order to be classified as bare bright, the wire has to be thicker than a uh, 16 gauge, which is the thickness of about the lead of a pencil. Uh, pipe is not bare bright, so any type of copper tubing, the highest value you're, you're gonna get is uh, number one copper. But again, wire is the only item of copper that you're gonna get bare bright, but it has to be thicker than 16 gauge. So this is not thicker, but either way, this is gonna give me number two uh, copper price at $4.17 a pound. As well, there is gonna be a small little relay box in here that has copper. These handles, they are gonna have a little bit of brass on them as well. So I do break these off very easy just with a hammer. Okay. What else do I have here? A couple other items. Uh, again, it's gonna take off. I do wanna get that Romex wire here. Okay, that box is gonna be, okay, this is gonna have, again, if I open this, there is gonna be a small relay box in here. These relay boxes, just gonna show you, I'm gonna break the plastic with my hammer. There we go. 
So again, a little bit of plastic inside of here, any type of clicky that you hear, there's going to be a small silver dot inside of it. I, they're called um, silver contacts or relay boxes. And what I will do is I will actually cut off that little piece of silver uh, and I will put it into a vial. Uh, I do have a video showing you lots of good places to find free silver and relay box is one of those. I do also have some more brass connectors. Okay, uh, and the last thing I want to look at very quickly again is the door. Bring that back up. So again, that door was tin, but there are right here some of my, um, uh, once I open this door, and I am gonna actually put that weight back on there so this doesn't fall. Okay, so last thing that I have, once I remove the door, again, a couple more screws, I wanna reveal a really nice circuit board. Boy, you should see the drips I have on the floor right now. Whew. It is warm. But again, scrapping, well worth it. This is, again, a good, good workout for me, and as well, nice little sauna, if you will, healthy, sweating this off. Okay, these racks that you see as well behind me, put a magnet to those. They could be magnetic stainless steel or non-magnetic stainless steel, depending. Sometimes it's a small coating on it. These ones, you can see it is magnetic. So this is your magnetic stainless steel, 17 cents a pound for that. Um, but inside my door, okay, inside there is a control box here, control panel that has some really cool, so there he is right there, my wire that connected from earlier. I'm just gonna undo it for you. A lot more of your appliance wire. Oh, I see a couple of spiders sitting in here, so probably this dishwasher hasn't been working for a while. Okay, so just gonna get a little bit more wire, pull this off. Okay, show you inside. This is going to have a lot of brass in the buttons here. This control box. Okay, and there's one over here that has a bell to it. Okay, there we go. Just going to pull out the last couple. Again, this door is going to be tin and a lot easier to play with once I take the springs off. Okay, but this tin shell box here that I'm pulling off does have a small copper motor to it. Okay, there we go, there you go. So right there, there is a control box on that small copper motor. All I have to do is open that up, break it open with a hammer. There is a little spool of copper. This here, this control panel, I am gonna open this. You can see glistening inside of that, some nice yellow brass prongs. So hitting that with a hammer, um, get that brass out. Lots of my wire. I do have right here again, two more relay boxes that have the silver, uh, as well as some copper that connects to the silver. Uh, so that would be number uh, one copper, uh, a little bit higher value than your number two. So right now going for about 430 a pound. Uh, but again, some nice relay boxes, some nice appliance wire. Do have to pull off this uh, coating and it will just slide out as you can see. There we go, upgraded it. Uh, if I left this coating on, I'm gonna get downgraded uh, to uh, dirty or mixed wire, so just make sure you pull that off. The last thing, there is on the bottom the, the um, steel, and all I'm actually gonna do to get that steel casing off, I'm gonna take a grinder, and I'm just actually gonna grind down here, and it will actually start peeling off. There's two places that it will peel off from. Um, once I remove the spring, Again, that's another item that is a good uh, tin value. Okay, so it all adds up, okay? But other than that, this shell, yes, I am not going to get scrap value for this now. I, I have had some of my viewers out east say that they are able to bring in plastic and uh, get um, uh, paid per weight for the plastic. So that's great that they can do that. Here, unfortunately, in southwestern Ontario, we cannot 
But no matter, what I'm actually gonna do with this is I have a whole bunch of compressor shells and other pieces of tin from this that all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load it up, use it as a uh, carrying case, and actually the scrapyard will take it right from me. So I don't have to worry about that. The other great thing about this is they will probably go ahead and recycle it themselves because it is a thicker plastic. Um, but other than that, that is your plastic bath dishwasher. Um, you do have tons of them. There are, again, some great items. A lot of tin from my door. I've got the racks. I've got the amazing heavy copper bearing motor. Again, this in itself uh, is probably going to be worth about six times more than what I would made just from bringing this dishwasher in by itself. So I will actually break it down in my uh, comment section. I will show the full value of uh, comparing stripped or cleaned separated items compared to uh, if I got appliance weight price for it. Uh, so again, I will put that in there. Um, go check out my other video, how to take these copper motors apart, uh, as well as your three minute challenge uh, or the magnetic or non-magnetic backings of your dishwasher. So hope you enjoyed that. Again, um, lots of great items in all of your dishwashers. Make sure you take the time to get that brass off of the heating element. This is going to be stainless steel. So again, 77 cents a pound for this. Lots of great 60% uh, appliance wire, so higher value, $2.56 a pound for all of this. So make sure you separate it uh, from your 40%, which would be your uh, appliance cords of like microwaves, vacuum cleaners, dish, um, dehumidifiers, those ones that have the thicker outer coating. Make sure you separate it as you are going along uh, to save yourself some time, but you definitely want to make sure that you separate it, okay? And again, lots of great tin from those racks. And if you do or are lucky to have other motors like this, make sure you grab those as well. So again, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm gonna go take a shower because I am drenched again. Um, please keep the comments coming, the questions coming. I will do my best to answer those. Um, if you are other areas out of province or out of country, I do appreciate when people give me the updates on their prices. So uh, comment down below. Please like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.